Now I'm going to remove the other brake adjuster, clean it up, and put anti-seize on it. Now take this nut, move it back, and put some antifreeze on that pipe, on the brake line. Wipe off the excess. If you do that, especially on a beetle, the brake line says they'll rust so bad, this is what happens. The nut don't rust into the wheel cylinder, the nut rusts to the steel brake line. When you go to take them off, they won't break loose. Sometimes you can get them to come loose, but you'll twist the line and break it. Put the anti-seize on now, you never have to worry about it. I got the other adjuster with anti-seize on it. I'll put it back in the upper wheel cylinder. Now I'm going to remove the brake bleeder valve from the old wheel cylinder and put it in the new one. Okay, I'm going to reinstall the new wheel cylinder. First I'm going to, before I bolt it on, I'm going to start the brake line. Makes it much easier. Okay, I got the brake line started. Now I'll put the bolts back in. If you put the bolts in first, you have a harder time getting this brake line started, so just start it before you do the bolts. Now I'll tighten up the brake line going into the wheel cylinder. Okay, I got the line tightened up. Now I'll put the bottom adjuster in. Now we're ready for the new brakes to go back on. Okay, I put the new brakes on, just the opposite way of what we took them in. Took them off. That's so what you got to be sure of, is that your brake shoe goes into the slot of the piston. You can peel the boot back a little bit and look and make sure it's in there. Now just do the same to the other side. Courtesy SJVWC. That's right. Oh, and Mugman. Man. <laughs> Someone has to hold the light. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I got the nut and the spring spacer behind it. So what you do is you run the nut up tight. Then you back it off of, until you just get play in this spacer where it will move without too much problem. That will give you the right 
preload on your bearing, then tighten up your what? No, I just pointed. Oh. <laughs> my okay. Was, my finger's prettier than yours, so. Oh. See. Show them what I'm talking about. <laughs> you know, any buffoon can hold a light, but. <laughs> Tighten it down. Make sure you can still slide this so it moves without much leverage. That seems to be perfect. Okay, that's it. Like I said, just repeat it on the other side. And make sure you keep track of how those springs go on to your brake shoes. Now when you adjust your brakes, you use this hole right here. Remember, you have the upper one to adjust and the bottom adjuster. So you take the one up till it's tight and you can't move the drum and just back it off enough so that you can turn the drum with a little friction to it then, then do the bottom adjuster after you run it for a while and the brakes seat in you'll have to readjust it you can do this with the wheel on by only taking the hub cap off but all, all Volkswagens have the two adjusters one for each brake shoe a lot of people don't know that and they adjust one adjuster can't figure out why their brakes aren't working right hope this helped you